Hello, Year 8, and welcome back. I hope you've had a good break. We're going to be starting a new topic this term, and we're going to be looking at linear relationships, which is basically lines in graphs. Now, you would have done a little bit of this last year. Today is going to be a bit of a revision lesson of the concept of just plotting points on a number plane. Okay, so if we look at this example here, it says plot the following points on a number plane. And we've got all these letters that have these numbers in brackets next to them. And then also the point zero zero is called the origin. Okay, so what is a number plane? Well, you would have learned about the number line in year seven. The number plane is just when we have two separate dimensions at the same time. So instead of just one line, we've got two lines and they sort of at right angles with each other. So we're gonna draw a quick number line, uh, sorry, number plane here. Okay, and we often call the horizontal one, the X axis, and we call that line an axis instead of just a line. And we call this vertical one, the Y axis. And basically, these are just two perpendicular, that is at right angles, uh, number lines that sort of track two numbers at once, okay? Two different dimensions, if you will. So each of these points here, A, B, C, etc., have two numbers here. And we need to plot them on this uh, 2D space that we've just created. So what you would do in your books whenever you're making a number plane is you'd rule out that horizontal one, label it X rule out the vertical one, label it Y, and you would also add in these little arrows. Now what the arrows indicate is that those axes go on forever. It continues extending into the X uh, uh, both ways as well as the Y. So whenever you set up a number plane, rule out the horizontal one, rule out the Y one, add the arrows and make sure the X is on the horizontal one, the Y is on the vertical one. So to plot a point on the number plane, we first look at this first number, okay? And that is gonna be its X value. Um, now, why is the first number X? Well, because X becomes before Y in the alphabet. So that's how you remember, the first value is X, the second value is Y because X is before Y in the alphabet. Now we're just gonna add uh, little notches here goes up to five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add these numbers in. We're also going to go to negative. Now, in a grid book, it's much easier for you to uh, do this because you can just kind of follow the grid. You might have to do a couple of grid squares per unit um, because it might be too small, but um, otherwise, you can just follow your grid. We're going to do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the negatives, two, one. Okay, we've drawn our axes or our number plane. Okay, so our first point A has the coordinates three and one. We're going to go to three on the x-axis and we're going to go up one on the y-axis and draw a little point like that. So that is going to be A and we're going to write in those coordinates in brackets next to it. Okay, three and one. It's three on the x, one on the y, so it's in that point on the number plane. Okay, for our next point B, it's zero on the x, which means we should maybe add a little zero in here. It's going to be on this y axis if the x value is zero, and then it's going to be up y on the two. So that is b. Okay, as such. Okay, for c, we need to go to negative four on the x axis. Remember, always the first number is the horizontal one first. So negative four, and then negative three, which is going to be about here, and that's c. And you sort of get the idea. Always start on the horizontal, the X, and for the first number. And then this one is going to be negative 2. 
and it's uh, zero on y, which means it's just on the x-axis here. D minus two and zero. Uh, we've just got three more to do. Zero, zero, that's gonna be right in the middle here or the origin. That's where our E is. F is gonna be five on the x-axis and then minus three down here. And our last one is minus four, positive four up here. Okay, so that is how we can plot points on a number plane. So a few key things to remember, always remember, okay, first number is the X value, which is the horizontal. Okay, so remember that. Second is Y value, which is the vertical. So always remember that when we're plotting points and remember it's up is the positive and right is the positive for X. And then if we go left, that's the negative values for X. And if we go down, it's the negative values for Y. So basically that's all we need to do. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Remember to message me if you have any questions, but uh, all the best with the practice questions today.